Well now, it's time to start the chapter in earnest, because all of the chapters are done. I guess the first one just doesn't have a ranking. The difficulty one original first tutorial level doesn't even give you a token like, Yay, S rank, you did it, because it was impossible to screw up. They're like, nah, this is going to be a blank spot on the interface forever. I'm trying to remember, I think every single one of these characters has done a loyalty. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we're not... Yeah, because we had to do six on this floor, I believe, basically. I don't know. At least I think I remember doing a loyalty mission for every single character. Okay. Living Ruins. After three sacrifices, the fourth do uh, floor awaits. The remains of a grand civilization somehow alive. That... It's not what remains mean. Unless you're talking about, like, the walls are alive, I guess. Because it's like, if it's the remains of a civilization that's somehow still alive, then it's just it's just the actual civilization that's not remains. Are we still just doing this thing where we do slightly different versions of each one? I want to th I want to think that a Vold is just one of those guys that does the status effects. They just look more and more like those green characters with hoods from uh, Final Fantasy. And I assume hostas are snipers, and I'm just gonna assume they're named after Arnold Schwarzenegger. Just, just, just skip straight to that. And Direptor. They look like a, they look like a drone variant, but they're green, and green I associate with status effects. And they also have a name that sounds like almost like they'd be like disruptors of some kind. I wonder. Let's put our people in there. So first of all, Noah Gito. and who's my highest ranking person? It's Nagi now. Nagi actually passed the hero now. That's a bit of a surprise. Damn. I mean, it's, I guess it's not that much, much of a surprise. She has been kicking a lot of ass. So, definitely Zenji. Just trying to hurt. So Zenji and Toy need to go in there every single mission because they need to redeem themselves in the eyes of everyone else. Uh, two people are going to be isolated in the middle of nowhere. So here should probably be with the main team to help. That's the whole main team, more or less. Could it be Yoko and Mana on the far corner? I'm back to being able to move Show around again. Okay. Maybe Sohiro should be with the lone person so they can heal. Because they might need it, actually. So maybe Sohiro should be six. And maybe she'll be maybe he'll be with Mana, who's hard to kill. And maybe that's how we keep them from going down. And then Yoko will join the main crew up here. Nagi sitting out because she's a top character, and Ajito sitting out forever because he is apparently a traitor. That's a bummer. <laughs> it's the first time it feels like more of a betrayal because uh didn't even meet this guy really because it's Act One, and Act One was so short because didn't even have a single side mission. And there were, and one, of the six missions, one of them was a tutorial. Uh, didn't really get much use of him, him and O before I found out she was the traitor. But it was Chapter Two still. But then that was like, oh, okay, you've been around for a little longer, and now it's like, shit. I've used Jito for the majority of the game at this point. <laughs> Great details. Kill all the bad guys. Don't get killed all of my guys. 35,000 experience, 14,000 energy. All right, well, I'll be able to upgrade I'll be able to upgrade someone's weapon after this. So there's that. Mm. Whoa, well, this is quite a sight. Amazing. What the hell? Is that a pyramid or something? Did we go back in time? I doubt I'll ever get used to these drastic changes. Damn. Did time reverse itself? No. This is more as if an ancient civilization prospered without dying out. Uh-huh. It certainly feels that way. At the very least, it doesn't feel like some old ruins. <laughs> hmm. Somehow I, d I highly doubt that the end was the one who designed all this. Well the only thing that matters now is that we keep going, right? Is it just me or is our teamwork improving too? Hint, hint, I'm not the traitor. Traitor, traitor, traitor. 
The idea of doing the entire chapter already knowing who the traitor is is really funny, because now Let's every go. single story conversation is going to come with built-in, like, by the way, he's the traitor, just in case you'd have forgot. I like this visual design so far. There's the warmer palette, which is just kind of nice to be in, but also, like, I like that the corners look like they might be just vertical walls. Just because if the corners are vertical walls, that helps establish line of sight better, but they already are kind of cutting that corner, heh, get it, literally, by having that, like, the bottom sticks out and the rest is in, in more, because you know that that bottom sticking out is the actual line of sight, so if, if, uh, if something's slightly blocked by that tiny corner down there, that's broken line of sight in a game with guns, which is way. not okay, honestly, still. But you guys are way down here. You know who'd be really good at this mission? Ajito. The character who can teleport through doors? Uh, he can teleport through doors? He could, like, potentially- well, not really. I was thinking, like, maybe he could open up a secret path that reunites everyone faster, but really there's enemies everywhere, so... Probably not the best call. The good news is there doesn't seem to be a super mech enemy boss here. The bad news is they're all new enemies, so even if they look familiar, they might still be something unusual, including that guy. Start with these guys, there's the simpler roll, because they're in the middle of nowhere anyway. Really? N ah. This is where I pay for not bringing Nagi along, because I'm trying to reduce... I'm trying to eat, help the combat ranking a little bit. Dang it. Alright. Hm. Yeah, because Nagi is not here... I have to deal with the fact that, uh... Strike. Leave it to me. See, if I attack him from behind, will somebody else sneak up on me? Yes? What are you? Do you even have a gun? Are you just an explosive canister? Do you self-destruct? Am I just gonna have to learn the hard way? Because I think that's the case. Come on, man. This game... This game feels so much like a Vita game. <laughs> I had a brief stint with playing Vita games, like Soul Sacrifice and stuff, and there's just... There's always, like, the wonky hitboxes and weird cutscenes and just, like, weird deep. Oh, crap, there's three of them in a row. Yeah. Yeah! Wow, he's a punchy man, look at him. He doesn't have a gun or even, like, weapons on it anymore, he's just a man with a sort of a torso armor and that's it. And that he's, he uses his hands now. They're getting more and more humanoid, is what I'm noticing here. Is this the end strategy? Is he- is- are these guys fighting us and he's like training them to like replace us or something? That- cause that's- that's one potential theory for what's going on with the story. Is that, what if the uh... What if these creatures evolving is actually his goal, and the whole point? My uh, goal's to use a big bad attack on each one to hopefully take it out before it- ow. Oh. I wasn't even in assist range? Whoops. Whoops. Alright, well... You pretty much go first because you are the one that can actually... ...do the series of assists that help out here. Can I rebel strike in a position that'll hit both of you? No? Alright. Low chance to instantly kill a target. Or high crit chance. The high crit chance one costs 30% sanity, man. And 30 GP. Mystic Shot has a higher damage. And with the low chance to instant the kill, but this one has a high crit chance. I wish it would tell me the crit chance, like an XCOM, so I knew what high meant. Like, for all, by a lot of people's terms, high crit chance is like 15% crit chance. Like, whoa, look at that. That's 50% more than just a, than just a rolling a 20. <laughs> Probably Mystic Shot, I've never seen it before. I've never seen any of those attacks before, really. Now. Wow. Good. First time firing Don't and I tr and I triggered way. the uh the actual uh kill. You do that, Zenji. Alright. Uh let's Link. Modulate Show us some mind. cool abilities. Let's have you use those for a bit. And let's begin. So he won't be able to use Searing, but he'll be able to use Rubble and some of the- some of the other stuff. He can't use the fire attacks, unfortunately.
Well, who can Let's the other go. person reach to? Can you reach both of them too? So it's not like a decision? Nope, you can only reach them. I'm here for you. Too damn easy. I want to push them forward. because I want to I move quickly and try to help the, other, the rest of the team as fast as I can. But I also don't want to go too far. Mirror Fist deals the same damage you have taken onto attacker for three turns. Neat, but I've taken no damage. Look at all these skills I have now. Look at all these skills I have now. Combat alert, dodge next attack. Rubble strike, mystic shot. Lethal pass. Recent allies crit rate. Oh, I, wait. I got burn and searing blast? I thought you didn't get the materia skills. I didn't get the skills from Nagi, did I? Did I miss them somehow? Or is it, cause he, is it because he doesn't have a melee weapon? Is he not capable of using melee attacks, maybe? That could be it. Is there, oh, there's nobody around the corner. Weird. We have, we have less opposition than the smaller group does. Damn. Well then. Damn, damn, damn. Leave it to me. Deals thunder damage to target for three turns. Required Electro Spark. Uh I mean I wanna use it, but it's like wasteful, but I wanna use it, but it's wasteful, but I wanna use it. <laughs> Is it that wasteful, though? It's 50 GP, 20 sanity. It uses less sanity than these other skills I have do. I could also just shoot him, and he, there's a decent chance he'd just die. Well, no. Does Zenji get his upgraded weapon yet? I don't think he does yet, so he's not that good. The assist might not be good enough. Eh, let's look at the cool attack. Even though it's th for three turns, so it can't even be that... It can't be that strong of an attack, though, because it's, it's for three turns. It's probably not. It's probably lesser damage, over, but damage over time. Let's do, a lo let's do something lower cost. Huh. Don't miss! Don't miss! Don't miss! Don't miss! Don't miss! There you go. I make this shit look easy. I, I make this shit look easy because I'm using the leader's skills, and he's the most powerful character. <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> Can he reach us? No. You know why? Because that corner counted as line of sight blockage. <laughs> Take that game. Taste your own medicine. Man, you guys are going to be having a tough time. At least we can use AoE, which, Ma which Mana has some of, I guess. Shit. I was right. It's a bad time to be right. <laughs> Please don't charm her. Ow. Okay. Ow. Damn. Mana's a tank still. We knew that, but damn. She's gonna keep Sahiro alive. Let's do this. He took so little damage from them. It was just the it was just the giant horrible explosion, really. 35% sanity is a problem though. 35% sanity is a problem. Shit. Like I could use Torpedo Fist, and it would do damage. But as of how much more sanity can I risk losing? We're a little overwhelmed here. Well, worst, worst case scenario, one of them goes on a crazy rampage and kills some dudes, I guess. Guess we'll just go for it. It's like the best I can do, right? Now what I want to do is stay away from her. Let's see, those those two enemies here... That one's half dead. They're both kind of half dead. Gets me into a little bit of a trap. So I kind of have two options. One, I could heal her, and then just weather another round of combat. Which might make her go crazy, but they're but they're the ones in melee range, so sh they're the likely targets to get hit if she goes crazy. Or I could defer to her, have her run behind them, and do another line attack back there, and then maybe if I'm lucky, 
on her ensuing rampage, she'll go after the guy around the corner instead of Sahiro. And hopefully Sahiro's just out of range, period. And that kind of sounds like fun, too. <laughs> that far. A concerted strike. I'm really not good. I may have a preference for risky strategies. There's a guy. There's kind of a guy around the corner, or he'll go, or she'll go after Sahiro. Uh, how did I get? That was weird. I couldn't move anymore. Uh, Vito fist. This is probably a bad plan. This prob she's probably gonna go after Sahiro. I didn't. I should, <laughs> this math could have gone better, I guess. Hey, they're both dead. God, you're a badass. Now it's a problem. Come on, don't chase the hero. Chase the other guy. Chase the. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. I can't treat people if I'm. Are you alright? <laughs> alright, well. <laughs> Uh, cut to me saying, like, last turn, how Mana's gonna keep Sahiro alive. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. She can pick her, but she can pick him back up afterwards. What a shame. <laughs> it's the dumbest Shit. attack! Good. Get a oh! Why couldn't they give it any better audio? <laughs> on it. Well, that complicates things. Well, that complicates things. Well, you've got the nice one, the nice one, right? You got the big old blarg. If you want to make sure I get them again, or you have a lot of other AoE attacks. Please, Meanwhile, do you have an AoE this? attack yet? Single, single. Single, single. Yeah. You're all about the single targets. All the single targets. All the single targets. That complicates things. Wait, you can self buff. Aha. I'm gonna try to defer him forward. Please, snap out of it. And then hopefully he can get into attack range to AoE them. If not, he can at least shoot one of them or something. I hope. Why can't I activate my command menu? A isn't doing anything. <laughs> what? I was able to walk there, but I couldn't use my commands. Weird. Command wave. Chance to charm target by reading their mind or, or circuit board. I like how even the game seems indecisive about whether or not they have minds or circuit boards or what. Are, are, are all of these things supposed to be humans, basically? It's seeming more and more like that case, and also we have the ability to charm them. Like, we keep talking about being able to do things that you normally only do with, with organic enemies, which is weird. So Tempest doesn't reach far enough. And you can't defer, because you've already been deferred. Line attack. This is this game's definition of a line attack, I want to point out. Sure. <laughs> I believe you. Attack. Gatling wave's still not long enough. Yeah, there's not much I'm going to be able to do here, as far as being able to take out both at once. But i instead opt for just attacking while also trying not to stand on top of our allies because of AoE opportunities. God damn it. God damn it, line of sight. Okay, fine. Let's do a uh, coil shot. How about that? That's not line of... How is line of sight still broken? Because one of his his toe is behind the corner. Is that? God, uh, fine. I'll stand in the group. I was trying to not stand in a single cluster, but his toy being around the corner is broken line of sight. What the hell? I'm starting to feel like the AI is specifically hiding behind the corners in broken line of sight on purpose. 
but in like a weird, like abusive sort of way where like they can tell exactly where to stand and to make it look like they're not hiding behind a corner. But still do it. Find one of the status elements. An affected unit can use actions, but cannot move from their position. Oh, great. At least it's Zenji, I guess. So for three moves, he, for three turns, he can't move. Status elements, elements hurt a lot in this game. You just like, hey, you want to just disable this character for a while? Please tell me you at least reach this guy. Come on. Are you alright? Ah, uh, bummer. All right, so they still have status Shh, effects. He's Get binded. I have an anti-bind, but I could just use that, but it doesn't get left behind completely. Alternatively, Yoko can run forward and then get launched forward by him. Because we're running out of things here. There's only a few enemies left, so using an anti-bind might not be worth it. When someone's getting left behind anyway because of our set up here. Yeah, I might as well have Yoko run forward, then Zenji defers to Yoko. Are you all right? And then we have the same number of people in our party. Because my, uh, here. my def okay. my, de my deferment running I was doing was going to leave somebody behind in the process, just because of how that tends to work. I'm going to ignore the bottom switch, because I think that just opens the door we started by, which we don't have a reason to open. But I need to, I need to open the middle switch to open what's probably... I would guess that the middle switch either opens the left door or both doors around the final room. Whereas the right switch, I don't know if that opens the door back to the beginning of the other team or if it just opens up both doors at once. I don't know. Eh, I can't make it. What am I gonna do? All right, well you've been deferred to, so you can't defer anyway. You might as well just run down the forward hallway then. And... We could do a buff. Brain Hacker raises all allies' stats. For how long? Eh, might as well. You haven't been doing anything else. Get them stats up. Are you alright? Alright, so it's me and Toya. Well, that complicates the So Toya can make it exactly that far. Are you alright? Because you can make it around the corner. So you're clearly the character that has more move, right? Yeah, because they're standing like right next to each other. Can you buff yourself? Increases crit rate for three turns, yes. I think we'll get there before it wears off. And then you get you get it too. Well, that complicates things. Well, that complicates things. I'm not done yet. Uh... What? 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 Do I attack it? <laughs> what do you... What do you want from me? What the f... Shit! How do the buttons work in this game? That one's orange-ish, and that's an orange gate. That's purple-ish. That's a purple gate, sure. How do I press the... Do I have to end my turn on it? But if that is what I need to do, do I want to do it now? Because then we'll be out of... Everyone's going to be, uh... Well, Toya could do it next turn. If I need to end my turn on it, then I should let Toya do it. I think it's a... It might be a pressure plate. Basically. Okay. Dodge next attack. This is my chance. I might as well be hyping my character up. No! That wasn't very nice. Is she still is she still crazy? My no. Head. God damn it. Now she's not berserk. Let's begin. That one that one is that one exactly is like the worst it could possibly go, basically. Alright. 
the weight. Might as well buff. In case he ever goes into a fight again. Hype up them stats. It is a pressure plate, okay. So you have to stand on it, you probably have to stay on it. There's two of these guys. My head. Ooh. This is exciting. What if I go over here? As far away from her as possible. What a shame. Rebel strike. And then he goes crazy. Mess them up. There you go. That's how you go crazy. All right. Please snap out of it. Now nah, we're fine. Everything's fine. All right. So he's got decent amount of health left, but he's got a crazy person around him. Uh, I'm thinking we head south. Let's see. I have to stay. Toya can't move yet. There's a decent chance, though, that that guy's going to get killed at the beginning of next turn when, uh, protagonist man, show. I almost said sore. I'm like, where'd sore come from? Uh, when show starts his next turn, he's probably gonna kill that guy. In fact, that guy's probably gonna attack- if I- if I leave, show will probably attack him, uh, from combat senses, too. But I can't- Yeah, I just can't, uh... I just can't take, uh, Toya off the pressure plate. So Toya has to stand still while this is happening, or, or Sho will have cut off line of sight and won't kill that guy. I can make it about this far. I want to help Mana, if I can. But I have to be careful to be inside of defer range. That's exactly what I'm going for here. Let's see, I could do... a buff on myself. But at this point, I have so many buffs already, and it will kill, like, half my meter. Throws an ally's sanity. It uses six sanity. How much sanity do you get from it? No! Ten? Shit, not good. That's not even get a, a good skill. No! You fucked me, line of sight. You can't even make an excuse for this one, man. Come on. Not even the wall, not even the floor parts in the way. But no, it's out of line of sight! How did this make it into a, like... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to rally on one thing over and over again forever, but Jesus Christ, man, like... This, this... Bait, like, even... You, you had to know, right? That this makes no sense? You had to know. This had to, at some point, come up like, that clearly makes no sense. How the corners work in this game. And then you had to like, like, it was clearly a problem. And then, surely, you would have released the game on PS3 and whatnot in what, like 2013 and 14 or something like that? I think it was when the year, when it came out. And then you'd get like, fan feedback, like, hey, what's up with Line of Sight? And then you, then you release it again on Steam? You're releasing the game again, years later, and you s like, look, 1080p60, look at all these upgrades, but you didn't fix this? Like, at some point, it it is something that should have been fixed. Come on, man. Link with all allies, because I can. Synchronize! More. Even more! What if that makes him berserk? That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> if he just links the berserk. The way corners work is not okay! Oh, Jesus. Sho is terrifying. Oh, is Sho gonna run all the way to Mana and kill her? <laughs> oh, wait, no, the, the, the other guy's closer than Mana is. Wow, he's right there, though. Whoa, okay, things got Terminator-y just now. Sho's stalking them through the hallways. Sho is stalking them through the halls. Alright, so... Snap out of it. You're gonna have to run for it. Buffs are pretty pointless at this point, and san the sanity buff... I mean, I can technically do that. She has 47 now. There. It's, a, it's, it's a gain of 10, but she also has to spend it, right? So it's like a... 
I can't see it. I can't see the number until I until I do this. I'll do my best. Now she's at 51. So she you gain like five. So it's ten for other people. It's still a really small gain. Honestly. For like ten sanity for an entire turn of exertion, and she spends. Let's see. So she spends 6, and, and they gain 10. So it's only a net gain of 4 sanity for the party when she's using it on somebody else. That seems like not an effective use of a turn. I guess it's only... It's not meant to be used as a heal for sanity, but just like a, uh, a band-aid of that skill is about to make the person go crazy, and this time, or, and in this scenario, you don't want them to do that, so you're going to do that, I guess. How's this? That's going to hurt. Sorry, Sahiro. <laughs> well, I'm sure we're not doing any favors for Sahiro's reputation meter. Which is probably good. I think you're getting stronger, don't you? These fights are starting to feel a little easier. No. You think so? I haven't felt much of a difference. Oh, stop being so modest. Nope. Come on, man. We're all counting on you. You gotta keep it together. <sighs> I'm just doing what I can. That's all I can really do, after all. But... I think that's pretty impressive on its own. Yes. When the time calls for action, you never run away and always do what you have to. You're the type of person people can really trust. <laughs> Whatever the reason is, we're counting on you, Show. You're the only one who can keep this group together. I see. I don't know if I'm worth all your praise, but I'll do what I must. I can't just run away from this. Hey, so Hero gets a negative one, and you get an A, because apparently I took one turn too long. Hooray, probably because so Hero died. And so I had less I had slower progress. That is probably basically it, yeah, because uh if I didn't screw up the whole mana situation, she would have had an ally, and so they probably would have finished everybody off. But it just sounded like a fun gamble, so I took it. Cause this I mean I'm getting comfortable I'm getting comfortable enough in these scenarios that uh Unless there's a tank around, I feel like I can safely just screw around a little bit. So if I see something risky that sounds that looks like it'll be fun, it pays off sometimes just to go for it. And that time it didn't, but you know. <laughs> Unless there's a uh, tank tread monster around, I usually don't have to worry about a really big struggle that'll make me lose. I can hear everyone's inner thoughts. Joke's on you, I already figured it out. There may be a traitor in this group. But on top of the traitors not making sense and that they don't seem to betray us at all, which, you know, maybe the story will explain that. Uh, they made it a little easy to figure out who the traitors are. And I, I almost wonder if... Uh, if this game would be more interesting if you were, had a higher chance of having to pick the traitor w while not having enough information. Because that's the exciting thing about Resistance, the game that I always compare this to, the uh, tabletop game, is that it's almost impossible in a game of Resistance to actually find out who all the spies are. Uh, you get information, and you can get a lot of leaning and stuff like that, but it's a lot of, like, just su suspecting people at random and accusing them and trying to gauge reactions and stuff like that, while also slowly getting data. I've had a few times where mathematically, like in this game, I could actually determine, like, nope, that person's the traitor. Figured it out. We actually know for sure, and stuff like that. Uh, in fact, as a spy, I have actually uh, outed other spies before uh, and secured victory that way. Because uh, we play blind spies sometimes, where the spies don't even know who each other are, and when I, whenever I do that, I go hunting for other spies, just like I do when I'm when I'm normally a member of the resistance instead. But I do that to uh, make myself really trustworthy, so that I can then destroy teams because I like I out the other spies, and then everyone trusts me, and then I destroy the team, and I'm like, yes, spies win. Thank, you're wel you're welcome, other spies that I destroyed in the process. <laughs> resistance is a really fun game. But uh, this game, you can, within a few moves, get absolute certainty over uh, who the uh, spies are. 
whatever the hell that means, because we still don't know what the traders are or what they're doing and stuff, but you can f you can pick them out pretty easily. And that's only exasperated by the fact that uh, when you do these companion missions, it tells you, uh, it gives you the voices thing again. So you get, in Act 4 specifically, uh, Chapter uh, Floor 4, you get like twice as many missions to determine uh, who this traitor is, even though you have fewer characters than ever before, so it's actually easier. Every floor makes it easy to find who the traitor is because you have fewer, uh, you have fewer characters to even pick from to begin with, and yet they give you more leniency for finding who they are. And like that's a, uh, it's kind of a bummer. It's it's like it's like a system that's like meant to be interesting, but you're supposed to win. Is what I, is my takeaway? Like. They wanted to have the interesting trader system, but also you're basically supposed to win. Like, you're not really supposed to actually have a chance of losing at it, unless you're just, like, not paying any attention to it and refusing to learn how it works, I guess, because the voices system is pr relatively straightforward. Uh, and that's, I don't know. I just, th I just think about all the, uh, all the indie games I've been playing that, like, make you feel like you're making tense decisions like Darkest Dungeon and This War of Mine and Darkwood and stuff like that where uncertainty is part of what makes it interesting sometimes and this game has total certainty in its most interesting mechanics and like t and actually weirdly uses uncertainty constantly in I, I assume unintentionally in its in wh where it shouldn't be which is like during its combat and stats and stuff like that whereas it, it's 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 odd <sighs> I'm knackered in both mind and body. Can't he have at least some facility that distributes cosmetics in this tower? I don't know. So, uh, anyone know how far we've gone? You think we're remotely close to the end? I'm getting uneasy about all this. Just how much farther must this tower continue? How m how many more floors? Damn it. Who can say? I'm not even sure if there actually is an end to it. Don't say something so ominous. Are you saying we'll have to continue killing each other until only one of us remains? No. Sorry, that's not how I meant it. Sorry. No, I understand. I apologize. I must be a little on edge. That's right. There is an end, right? There has to be. I won't be able to take it if we have to keep doing this. Hmm. On the battlefield, I was always staring death in the face. I was prepared to, uh, for it to claim me at any time. What? But I feel as if that sentiment is completely different now that it's among my own allies. I see. I can imagine so. Well... It's to be expected, right? The whole killer be killed sentiment is usually reserved for enemies in the battlefield. But having to kill a comrade, or, or be killed by a comrade? True. Now that's a whole different sort of stress. That's right. A respectable soldier that puts their life on the line doesn't think light, uh, lightly of human lives. It's only natural that this is hard for you. Sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention to have you listen to me whine. Now that it's come to this, I'd like to go the distance. Leaving this task to others isn't like me. Yes. I'll survive to the end and save the world with my own hands. <laughs> Alright, well, it's official. Nagi is as cool as a cucumber and totally my new crush. Yeah. I agree with you on not leaving this task to others. I don't pl uh, plan on passing this guilt on re or responsibility to someone else. Let's go. Let's see this through to the end, Nagi. And save the world. Very well. Yes, together. Show. Hey, Show. So, uh, who do you think the traitor is? Thank you. Let's review the data again, just in case. What, what am I, just in case? I already found who he is for sure, but... Yep, I'm, the voice's data continues to match up. It's a Gito! Agi Agito, apparently. Agito. Huh? Well, I guess if you think so, it might actually be true. It's so harsh to think about. I think I call it a Gito because that's what everyone called Final Fantasy. That, uh. Hey. Is Final Fantasy 13 a Gito and Final Fantasy 13 Versus were the names that eventually became Final Fantasy Type 0 and Final Fantasy 15? Uh, and I, it might have been Agito back then, too, but, uh, everyone in, on the podcast and what, it called it a Gito, and I'm like, alright, sure. That's still a weird story. Joe, do you have a moment? What do you think about Zenji? I can't say for sure, but I have my doubts about this one. Stop accusing Zenji. God damn it. 
Why can't I tell you who I think the traitor is? Why can't you show? Why can't you be proactive in this game and tell people who you think the traitor is? Even if it's one-on-one -on -one from here and there, like... Alright, well, one more vote and Agito will be in first place, so... That's good, at least. But, uh, yeah. It's weird that I have to do it this way, but we have so much time. I have, like, five more missions. My opinion swayed them, but I feel like I'm being watched. Are they implying that you get in trouble for accusing people in this game? Zenji? Was wondering if you were gonna show. Let's go. I know, you don't gotta tell me twice. Talking with you has made me realize who I really am. Though I hate to admit that. I see. I'm glad to hear it. I think I was insecure about not having my own identity. If all I do is copy others, what the hell am I then? You know what I mean? Well, it's bullshit. Yeah, that's stupid. Your ability doesn't matter. You are who you are. Well, of course. <sighs> it's so annoying trying to talk to you sometimes, you know that? I was thinking about it, and I feel like I was just trying to hurt others so I could leave my mark behind. But I'm over that now. So no matter what happens, you won't forget about me, right, Cho? When you look at me, you see me? Of course. You're Zenji and nothing else. Ha! <laughs> That's all I need to hear. We still gotta go kill the end. So no giving up yet, right? Don't get yourself killed, Sho. Now take that paper out of your hair. <laughs> you think that it'd be, like, screwed up by now? Also, she's like, where's the cosmetics around here? I'm like, how... Where have you been finding them until now? And that, then that just raised the question again of, like, how much time has passed? Is it still the same first day? Because it could be. So, Zenji and Mana are the two people that aren't maxed out. Just barely. And... Mana's not an option. <laughs> that was a third one. Huh, never mind. Agito. <laughs> hmm. Regarding the ones who've been erased, there's no traces of them except those stones. Have you been analyzing them? Yes. yes. Every time the judgment occurs, it's always just a stone, not a single drop of blood or flake or of skin. I'd hoped I could locate some piece of an erased person. I might analyze it for a clearer understanding. The erasure might be more supernatural, like our gifts. Yes, yes, a wholly unrefined topic, sadly. Not even any... There's not even any hair left over from just when they were in the room before? Maybe it is supernatural, like all traces of them are gone, except we remember them. You know... One way or another, we're, co we're coping with the judgments. I, for one, hope we're making some good choices, you know? Oh boy. Oh boy. What? You mean, selecting the traitors? Hey! Yeppers? Yeppers! Uh, who says- I don't even know how to- I, I honestly don't even know how to enunciate that word in a sentence, because no one ever says it. I've never- I only see it in text form, and I'm like, I don't even know how this exclamation works. Imagine getting killed by mistake. That's a terrible way to go. Well, mistake or no, I guess getting killed at all isn't so appealing from the get-go. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Seriously, he's still forcing us to do this after all this time. Now that's what I call real dedication, if you ask me. Nagi. <laughs> it looks like we've lost a lot of people. You're right. Yeah, it does. We must make that man realize the graveness of losing this this many. I didn't think I'd hear such sentimental words from you. No. I am human, though I think it's pointless to let it hinder me. There's no way I wouldn't feel anything of the loss of our comrades. Yeah. That really is like you. Heh. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I am human, says the most human character in the party. <laughs> Jesus. It's funny that the game's like, think... The game thinks she's so robotic and it's, it's... But they're, this game's idea of a robotic character is to make somebody that's just not completely insane sounding. Toy is fine-ish. It's, it's weird that he's like, I like being, uh, Toya's normal until he says like, I, I look forward to being killed by you. And I'm like, that's weird. Okay, no, I get that you're like, yay, 
for once I'm treated as an equal and not like uh, put on a weird pedestal. But it's really weird to be like, kill me, show. It would be an honor. I'm like, that's okay. You you crossed the boundary, man. Running through the same discussions over and over. Whom to erase, who to trust. Is it to keep us off guard? Do you believe he stands to gain anything by doing that? I'm not the best judge of that. But for all, for all we know, maybe he has a personal grudge against some of us. Like you, show who we glared at when we got here. I'm sure, that's not a standout thing at all. Let's go buy somebody a weapon. Probably Zenji if I'm going to keep taking him on missions. I probably have money for it now that after that last mission. Boy, do I! Wow, yeah. We're likely going. Uh, does anyone else need a weapon? The only way I can tell is to just look at the numbers to see if they ever go blue. Did I do everyone else already? Wow, a lot of these weapons just aren't usable by anyone anymore because all of the characters that use them died. Oh, wait, aren't- wait, these are the swords for specifically George, aren't they? Oh yeah. Right, George has specific weapons. Yeah. Replicated Sendai. Only the hilt is unchanged. Because George started off with a weapon that was, like, special to him. It, uh... Oops, I can't do that yet. He started off with a weapon that was special to him. Like, it was some had some sentimental value or something. Pretty sure I sold it. Because <laughs> he's... He's dead. Uh, Zenji? Criminal. <laughs> Okay, Chaos Hunter and Criminal. Sinful shotgun that breaks down inhibitions. What, what, what is this, what is this cartoon name scheme? Okay. Did the generator ever say that it has, oh yeah, yeah, of course it has new stuff. I'm buying it. I should look into, there we go. With 1200 I might be able to buy a new, oh, Vit Boost plus plus. That's third rank Vit. Yep, they're all in here. So I can get, I can more, ooh, raises San. There's actually something that raises your sanity in this game. Interesting. Oh, wow. What's that? You just, you just bought Barrier Tech rank three? Well, here's rank five. It just jumped two ranks in one floor for some reason. Damn. Well, I finally seem to have enough money to buy things. I'm gonna buy myself four strength boosts. And then I'll give them to my most used characters. And try to make sense of them. Alright, show. Bit boost plus. You get a strength boost plus plus. That's 30 strength. And let's give one to Mana. If she's gonna go into melee range, I want her to just one shot stuff. Let's try to make Zenji useful. Zenji and Toya are the people I'm trying to make not die right now. So let's give them their their strength boosts. There we go. I can finally buy stuff for these three ranks. For the first three floors, I can only afford the weapons. And that they were just drip feeding you money, like to all, be almost the exact amount of money you needed for weapons and not for gadgets and apps, which are like half the that's the majority of the equipment slots. So I guess they must expect players to just not buy new weapons for some of their characters each floor. Which I can kind of see for like the Doctor and whatnot, but like... I don't know, it's, that's the first thing I default to upgrading, I think. 